Carla Nash is the woman who was attacked by a 200-pound chimp back in 2009. The chimp ripped off her face, uh, ripped off her hands, and she was severely injured as a result. Now, um, a few, year, uh, few years ago, she revealed the damage that the chimp did to her face. And this is obviously before. Right. This is before she was attacked by the chimp. After the chimp attack, let's put up that picture. Oh, my God. You look at that picture and you get so angry because people just, you cannot take a wild animal and believe that you're 100% safe around it. I'm so amazed by the courage of this woman. You know, like, she, you can get to a point where you're like, oh my God, look at what my face looks like. And, and, and you know, who knows, give up, say, oh, it's not worth it, et cetera, et cetera. And she's like, no, I'm gonna fight back and I'm gonna try to make it back. I'm gonna right. survive. And then she's gone through all these surgeries to try to get a new face. Yes. And it looks like we have a picture now of uh, what it might look like. Okay, so um, she went on the Today Show to display her new face transplant. And look, uh, looking at that picture, of course, we always say when we do these face transplant stories that, you know, in terms of the medical field, they have a long way to go in terms of perfecting this pr procedure. But when you look at the before and after, it's incredible. And I read the CBS article about face transplants, and so far there have been 18 face transplants performed throughout the world. And they have become so successful, doctors have become so successful at doing this. And look, this is the initial face transplant, right? They continue to perfect it as time goes on. I'll give you an example. 48-year-old uh, Connie Culp, uh, when sh she was shot in the face by her husband, she miraculously survived, and then she got a face transplant. When you look at the picture of her face transplant, initially it looked pretty bad, but they continued to work on her jowls. Her jowls looked very droopy. They worked on it and they perfected her face. So it, 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 it has a long way to go, but now doctors are saying that this is no longer a risky procedure that you know, is gonna definitely have bad results or is more likely to have bad results. They're getting better and better at doing these face transplants. And, and it's obvious, look at the pictures. Look, I mean, uh, before the face transplant and after, it's, uh, I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that that is an enormous, unbelievable improvement. My bottom line, I believe in science. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people like Rick Perry, the governor of Texas, go and say, all right, we're gonna do a prayer day. You could have prayed over that face all day long and it wouldn't have changed. You know, you, you actually do science, medicine behind it, and you get that result. Doesn't mean you shouldn't pray about it while they're doing the surgeries, and I know a lot of people believe in it. But look, uh, science works, and, and ironically, God bless. She was walking with a limp. Yeah, ah. yeah. Do I look cooler when I do that? No, no. I'm not buying it. Put down your sandwich. <laughs> I need to judge who ate the most. I won, right? Did Anna win?